Good afternoon, Stampers. This is Diane Cisneros, and we are going to do Diane Will Teach Me That. I'm going to show you this card close up, trying to get some of the detail. Um, I used an embossing folder. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, I am featuring the Lattice Big Die. I want to show you how to use this. I haven't used it all that much myself. Uh, to get started, I'm going to show you the paper I used. This is Whisper White cut four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half and then uh, my top sheet is four by five and a quarter and what I did was <clears throat> I took our window frames framelits and I'm using uh, let's see one two three the fourth one in and I laid that on top and centered it as well as I could and ran it through the big shot to get that opening. Okay, so now that I've got that done, uh, I took a piece of our Marina Mist polka dot uh, designer series paper. And um, then I, I used the lattice die, which is the one I rarely use. But now that I see how cool it looks behind these openings, uh, I'll probably use it more. And again, I want to remind you, some of these things are going to retire. So if it's something you want, uh, these items are only going to be available while supplies last. So um, I'm, I cut this three and a quarter by three and a quarter because that's the size of the lattice. So I'm going to put a little glue in each or adhesive in each corner, I think. And I'm going to set that down. Now these tips are not going to show. Really what's going to show is the center. So I'm going to put some more adhesive and make sure you put it on the top. Because we're going to put that behind the opening. And here's my my piece that I want to fit this on and I'm going to carefully try to get that the same on both sides. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back. And this is going to be white on white, which is always uh, kind of elegant. So there, we have that done. Now I'm going to use um, this little, um, what do you call this, a sizzlet, little leaves. And I took our old olive polka dot paper. Uh, however, I don't want the polka dots. I'm going to flip it over and use the other side. It's a two-sided paper. Just put a little bit and I'm going to slide the, the bottom of that in there somewhere. Down inside the decoration. And then just let that fall. Okay, so we have our leaves. Now I'm going to use, um, I've already cut some flowers out. I used petite petals. Whoops, can you see? Petite petals. And that's in the occasions catalog. And I went ahead and used this top one up here. And I also have the petite petals um, punch. And I've done three of them, and I'm going to punch uh, one more. Oh, I'm almost disabled without my nails. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here and punch that last one out. You can put as many as you want. I just did four. Okay, so now I'm going to take my bone folder, and I'm going to kind of um, bend these forward. So they have a little curl. Whoops. Th 
this is uh, also a good flower for making uh, little daffodils if you have seen those on Pinterest. Okay, so now I'm going to use my glue dots and I'm going to just kind of put them around. Well, hang on. I'm using four. Now we can lay them on top. I'm going to put this one up here. Now I'm going to go back and squeeze these petals up a little bit because when I was pushing them down or were trying to get it to stick, I flattened them out. Okay, then we have um, the little decorative dots and I chose or I'm going to use Marina Mist. And that is part of the Subtles collection. They match perfectly. Um, you could also use pearls. You could use um, what are those other things? The like the little Oh, my brain. The little diamonds. What are those called? I can't remember. Okay, um, now I wanted to show you how I determined which green I was going to use. This is our color coach. I looked for all the blues. I found Marina Mist. You flip it over and there's Old Olive. So I know the green that I chose matches. Okay, so got that part done. Now I need a little verse and I thought I could use um, Thank You from Lacey and Lovely. I'm using this Thank You right here. And I've already stamped it and I used uh, just a piece of leftovers that I had. And this framelit is from, uh, let's see, it is um, the circle card thinlet die that is not in the catalog and I will post that for you because it's kind of hard to find but um, that's where this little framelit came from and I'm going to take it and put a couple of dimensionals and stand this up a little bit another white on white And we are done. So there's two nice cards. Lots of dimension, uh, lots of color. We used uh, petite flowers, the lattice, all the things that um, I forget to use. And these little decorative dots add a lot to it. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon.